If you feel like you are a shy individual, this video is for you. I'm going to teach you all the steps that you need to do to fake being a social butterfly and increase your popularity in high school without pushing yourself too far out of your shyness. So let's dive into these tips on how to be a social butterfly even if you're extremely shy. Okay, so confession, I'm a total introvert. And that just means that I can socialize. I, You know I love to public speak, it's what I do for a career, but it drains me, like people drain me. And so I'm not the extrovert that when I go and talk to people or go to parties, like I'm energized, I'm really drained. And it's hard for me sometimes to put myself out there because my natural inclination, the way I was born, is I'm really shy and I've learned to overcome that. So I wanna share with you some tips on you know how to socialize and be a social butterfly even if you're shy. And the first thing that you've got to do is you have got to get a confidence hero. Now, what is a confidence hero? I love to think of these as people that you know, that you don't know, that you've heard of, that you would really love to borrow and radiate the same confidence that they have. So for a lot of people, these are celebrities. These are people like Ellen DeGeneres and Oprah, and for me, Dolly Parton, who I just think are so incredibly amazing. And they know how to work a room. They know how to talk to people. And so you take that and you embody that when you go to a social event or when you go to school or when you're trying to talk to more people and you say to yourself, okay, I'm putting on my Dolly Parton today. I cannot be embarrassed. People love me and I love people. So I'm going out there. And you can kind of, you know, borrow from their confidence and just put on this persona for a little bit of just saying, you know what? I'm gonna act like this person and it's gonna go great. Because sometimes when we have to rely on just like me and like, your natural inclination, that's to be shy. So it helps to look to somebody else and say, okay, today I'm gonna to be like Ellen DeGeneres. I'm gonna be like Oprah and just have that rock solid confidence and I can talk to anybody because I'm like Oprah Winifrey, right? So that's what it means to have a confidence hero. So I'd encourage you to find one and somebody that you want to embody and be like and like, kind of shine their confidence off of yourself as well. And so it helps just, I know it's weird. It's really weird, but it really helps, especially when you're going to like talk to all your friends after school or when it comes to like going to a dance or doing something that's a little bit scary for you, you know, kind of put on that persona and say, I'm going to act like my confidence hero today. This second tip is huge for introverts and shy people like me. And that is to use your time that you are at school. Um, because you're shy, because you're an introvert, you're not really leaving school to go hang out with more people, right? So we've got to use our time that we are at school to be that social butterfly, to socialize and get all of that in so that then we can go home, we can recharge, we can be alone for a little bit. Um, you know, we can act just more like ourselves and our, our regular just family because we've gotten out all that socializing. So use your time that you're at school. This is a tip that I like to use to push you a little bit further because I'm sure that while you're at school, you have the experience that some days you walk into the big commons hall after school where everybody's congregating and you just think to yourself, uh, I'm just gonna go home, right? I'm, I'm tired, I, I don't wanna socialize, I'm shy, like I'm just gonna go. And I'd encourage you just to spend two minutes, to spend five minutes and just say, nope, this is my time. And then I can go home and read my book or be alone, but I'm gonna go socialize and I'm gonna go talk to five people. Um, use this tip of to like use your time at school to like set that as a marker for yourself and say, no, from, you know, noon, from lunch and after school, I'm a social butterfly and I can do this and I can talk to lots of people um, because I, I I am that person that gets drained by social interactions. So if you can tell yourself, hey, no, this is just, you know, my lunch, I'm gonna push through and talk to as many people as possible. I'm gonna go flirt with that cute guy. Um, 
it really helps your brain calm down instead of being like, oh my gosh, I have to be social all day. You just say, no, just when I'm at school, I'm going to hit it hard and I'm going to be amazing in the social butterfly so that I don't have to worry about it and I can go home and recharge. Okay, tip three, be friendly. And you're like, Abby, what? I'm genuine. If you are going to fake being a social butterfly, if you are really going to have to push yourself to be social, you've got to use all the time you've got and you've got to use it wisely. So smile, say hi, be genuine, be open with people. Because if you just start to revert to your normal shy self, sometimes shyness can come across as like coolness in the fact of like, oh, I'm too cool. Don't bother me. I don't want to talk to you. And nothing, you know, makes people feel bad or like they aren't your friend, then, you know, them getting that cold shoulder from you. So be friendly, be warm. Um, these are things as simple as, hey, come sit by me. Um, I love to give that tip to people who are shy and struggling to socialize at school because it is really about, um, you know, making that first effort that people then relax and calm down and they're like, oh, Abby's my friend. And then the conversation can flow more freely. But if you are the one that's like, oh, hey, come sit by me. How are you? It's just like a great icebreaker. It forces you to put yourself out there and it forces you to be social because after that, the conversation is going to start to flow. So be friendly and be sure that you are really fighting off that shyness that can creep up at school because People are going to misread that as you don't care, as rudeness. And that's totally not what it is. You're just like wanting a second to be alone. I know that, but they won't. So be friendly in all your interactions. My next tip for you is to learn names. Now, if you are going to really have to stretch yourself to be social, it's really important to learn names because this is going to put you on a whole other level than just your peers. And it's going to save you so much time with individuals socializing that it's all it's worth all the effort to learn their name, which I know takes a little bit of effort. But it's the difference of being like, oh, hey, hi, how are you? You know, that comes across one way and you're being friendly and being like, hey, Sarah, how are you? Then it already, uh, <laughs> can't talk. Then it kind of already like assumes your friends, you know them, it gets their attention. And it just really ups your their perception of you as a social person. And so this is kind of like one of those little like mind tricks when it comes to socializing that I think that shy people should use all the time is knowing people's name because if somebody calls me by name, I say, oh, we're friends. They know me. We already have a connection. Okay, my future social butterfly. My next tip is to know the basics of a good conversation. So many people get this wrong in high school period, but if you're shy, conversations can really fall flat because you're just thinking about like, how do I get out of this conversation? And like, how do I not say something wrong? And so those aren't great things to think about because then you say something wrong, right? Or you rush through something and somebody kind of feels like, oh, they didn't want to talk to me, right? We got to use our time. We got to be friendly, but we got to know the basics of a good conversation. So besides their name, which we just talked about, you need to know things like, hey, I should ask them about them and their life. I should sincerely compliment them. I should make sure that my, my tone and voice and that there's a smile in my mouth and my eyes when I talk to them, they get that excitement. Because let's be real. If we're trying to be social butterflies, right? If our natural inclination is to be shy, we're not going to like drag these conversations on too long and it doesn't need to be if you do it right with the good tools of a great conversation. So I want to point you to some of my videos on like how to be popular, like how to talk to anybody so that you can get some of these basics of a good conversation down because we want to make our time with people count if we're going to fake being a social butterfly so they feel heard, they feel connected to you, but we didn't spend too much time because you know, we're getting a little bit drained by the social interaction. So know the basics of how to carry on a good conversation with people. This tip is kind of like another insider mind tip, uh, like mind trick that I want you to learn. And it's to say hi first. 
Now you're like, Abby, I'm shy. That goes against everything that like I feel inside my little chest when I go to talk to people or try to be more social. I totally know that, but hear me out. When you say hi to somebody first, whether that's, I bumped into a friend at the grocery store and oh, do I say hi, do I not? And then it's awkward. You just say hi first, whether that's going, you know, in the hall and you spot a friend, you wave your hand and you're like, hey, how are you? When you make that first move, one, people can't mistake you for being unfriendly or unkind. Um, two, it shows how extremely social you are, which only you and me know that that's really not the case. Um, because people are like, oh my gosh, they noticed me. Oh my gosh, they're just like saying hi to everybody. They're just going down the hall and they just happen to know everybody. And it's because you're saying hi first. The third reason I love this tip is because now the ball's in their court. If somebody says hi to you, um, you totally are gonna be like, oh, hi, hi back. You're gonna maybe start a conversation. And all of a sudden the pressure's off of you to be like, how am I gonna carry on this conversation? How am I gonna talk to this person? Because you already did your part, you said hi. You're like, hey, how are you? Um, and so now it's up to them. And, and I get that sometimes you're just like passing in the halls. And that's like this added bonus that this person now feels heard and seen by you. And it took you two seconds of effort. So I get that as a naturally shy person, this is going to take a little bit of work and like pushing yourself. But once you start to see the benefits of this, of how you look like Queen Bee, because you're like, hi, Sarah, hi, James, hi, John. You know, you're just like going through your people, you're being genuine and friendly. You're going to get addicted to this tip because it really helps you fake being this social butterfly because you say hi first, you notice people, you see them, they love that. Now the ball's in their court and they ask you about your day and you don't have to worry so much about the conversation because you started it, you said hi first. And so nobody can mistake you for not being friendly and not being social. Okay, babe, those are my tips for you on how to fake being a social butterfly. If you're an introvert or if you're a naturally shy person like I am, these tips are truly life-changing. And what's the coolest thing about these tips and working on your skills of socializing is they just get stronger. Um, I know that while it's our natural inclination to be shy, it's something we can totally work on. And our shyness does not have to dominate or paralyze our life in any way. And it's just like working out. If we you know, work on an area of our body that's maybe not very physically strong, or mentally strong, we work on that. If we practice being friendly and saying hi first and learning people's names, we're gonna get stronger. Our confidence is going to increase and we're going to start to learn and practice these skills that help us to socialize with more ease and confidence. And that's what I want for you. So try out these tips. Leave me a comment down below on your favorite tip or if you had a question about a tip, if I see it, I would love to respond to you. So give this a like, leave me a comment, and subscribe if you are looking to master high school and create a life you love as a teenager. So wishing you the best of luck, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Abby J out.